And we'll have a look at inside, see what they've got like. I thought they would have had more like uh, pathways and stuff. So you could actually walk across it instead of having to walk across the grass. It's such a peaceful day. Or occasional sound of cars. Some of these installations are pretty insane. Hello, hello, come in. Hello. I thought I'd, I'd come and check it out since I'm uh, visiting the state, so... Oh, good. I'm glad you're, are you here for anything special? Just, uh, just a vacation? Just or? a vacation. Yeah, yeah. good. Well, I'm glad you're here. There's lots of good things to see. I know, I've just basically done a whole circuit okay. around the yard. The yeah. Equipment. Well, in here, you'll find the uh, the 45th Division development as it went, and it's active in World War II, Korea, and then all, even in Desert yeah. Storm. So you'll see all that. Uh, one of the highlights uh, over here, where you see the white cloth on the back side? Yeah. That's a little room that's got all kinds of stuff from Hitler's residence in Munich wow. and, in, and in his bunker in, in, uh, in Berlin. So a lot of good stuff there, really interesting. Uh, also, um, we have uh, a great representation from Dachau, the prison camp. Yeah. And that's back in here. And there's a, they've been a little, there's a little 12-minute uh, TV thing. Yeah. Yeah, on John. Rocket. Yeah, honest John, yep, that was oh, the last yeah, thing I yeah. saw before I came in. Yeah. 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 You see it from the road. You drive by it, you can see it. <laughs> I've never been walked out there myself. I've walked out there and looked at it, but I've seen it driving by every time. Well, walked out there because I popped out there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> every day or more day. Indian police and scouts. Civil War. Am I going backwards here? Yeah. Spanish American War. Type of stuff they had back then.
This is from World War One. see a thing. That's pretty incredible. All this stuff they had in World War One. Songbook reg regulations. from George from Windsor Castle. Gas mask. going up against these it's lock and load and open up it is done a chance Everything in here is from Hitler himself. All from his uh, personal residence. Quite a lot of stuff has got his initials on it. It's from Hitler's dining room. Hitler's napkins. Piece of marble from the dipl diplomacy house. I've missed anything. It's just rather overwhelming. Rather overwhelming. Okay. 
to authentic items from Hitler's summer residence at Birch Tesgaden. Wall for PP care. Uh, potato masher grenade. This uh, is turned into a pretty long video, so I'll, I'll edit it down. I'm guessing was this would be the yeah. This is the French. Oh, little grenade launcher. Some of the uh, weapons they used are pretty cool. Yeah, 38 caliber revolver. A British 9mm submachine gun. Some of the Italian stuff. I think some of the weapons they had back then were small, but effective, I would imagine. That's a tiny handgun. It's slightly bigger than my GoPro. Smokes, lucky strikes, tobacco, empty cases. That's the first American flag to be flown in Sicily. First platoon company here. Entrenching tool. This is all the Nazi insignia. Not so bad yourself? Ah, I'm doing well. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, yes. This is uh, a lot to take in. Oh, yeah, quite a collection. Huh? It is. It's actually, this is the largest collection of Hitler's personal effects you can see anywhere in the world. Yeah, the gentleman at the front said. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so I'm like, I'll have a look at this. 
Well, let me t- if you don't mind, let me tell you a story. I, I love I love I love the cape over here. That is Hitler's mirror, which I've just been informed about. Hello. But apparently, that's the uh, settee that Hitler and Eva were found dead on. And that mirror was directly opposite. So, that was the last thing that Hitler saw. In fact, I'll take a photo of that so you can read it as well. incredible that's the last thing he ever, he ever looked in imagine the you know, I was connected to that and this as well Hitler's cape you know one of the guys just told me that you know when it was looted you know when Hitler's residence was looted the guy that had all of that wasn't interested in that. He just wanted all this silver, silverware in China and stuff. So in order to, um, you know, ship it home, he wrapped it up in that. And then when his wife got it, she uh, wore it for years. And apparently the, uh, the museum reached out and said, "Yeah, can we have Hitler's cape?" That's a pretty uh, fascinating story, that one. This is probably what you wore when you was, uh, you know, on parade. independence 1766 is that the uh, the declaration of independence at least a copy of it some pretty cool looking old school weapons Eighteen twelve, the War of eighteen twelve. These were the weapons they would have used back then. I'm starting to run low on power on my microphone, so the audio quality may change soon. So I don't know any particular story about the mayor, but I'm sure like everything in these two cases. Mexican war rifles. Oh, let's have a look in here. That would be oh, I don't know if that's saved, but if it's not saved, then it's I'm kind of screwed because the it would have done. It should have done. Because the camera just said it was too hot, so kind of opened the side of it, let some air get to it, and carried on recording. This is an ambulance for the mock up scenario inside. Yeah, but, yeah as recorded, because I've got two hours left. And that was like an, an old ambulance that they used. A weasel. Fully tracked Studebaker. Yeah, like four people in there. It's 
aerial medical unit. Poor guy. That's probably how they would have transported him. So that'd be a fighter jet, you know, he's yeah, current era jet pilot. So I think when they're in the fighter jets, that's all they've got. Imagine they've got no, no, not much visible up front, is it? But oh, alas. That's what it would have looked like inside. That's not that. Not that much room in there. Not a lot of room at all. of all the ones that they've actually had in service but in toy form smoke discharger or oh, flamethrower all these gas masks looks Pretty evil. But your effect is tiny though. Really tiny. That would be a kid's one there. A US Army Jeep. Military police. Another small jeep. Quite a lot of Maggie's Marauders. Mad a comparison. Current. Old school. Lots of ground artillery weapons, mortar weapons. And that one. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking as much, guys, but there's a lot to take in. I mean a lot. Some more Nazi related stuff. 